Welcome back to Excel HQ, everyone. The functions we will be going over today are the len function, the proper function, the upper function, and the lower function. Now, to start off with the len function, what does it do? Well, it returns the number of characters you have in any given text string. So for example, in this text string right here, I don't know how many characters I have. I could count individually, or I could use the len function by typing in equals len, opening up that bracket, and then selecting the cell I wanted to analyze, which would be B4. Now it will return to me 11. That is because there's 11 individual characters from A to the T. And I can bring that down. But you're probably wondering, well, that's great and all. I know how many characters there are, but when does this actually help me? Well, it helps you a lot when you combine it with other functions alike. So for example, you could combine it with the right, left, and mid function, which I covered a few weeks ago, like so. If I wanted just the right side of the TR number, and I didn't want the TR and the pound sign to be in there, I could type in something like equals right, which starts taking the text from the right side. I'll highlight my value. And then the number of characters I wanted to see would be len of the B4. So it would count all 11. And then just minus three, just to take off the first three in the text string. And it would give me the numbers after the pound sign. And it would work for the whole thing. Now, the proper upper and lower functions. How this works is you take a text string. For example, I'll put welcome to Excel HQ. And it either capitalizes them or makes them lowercase. So if I take the proper function, it will capitalize the beginning of every individual text string inside, like so. Welcome to Excel HQ. So unless the following uh, character after the letter is another letter, so like after E is M and then after M is O, it won't capitalize it. However, since there's just a space here between the E and the T and a space between the O and the E, it recognizes that and it will capitalize it to be welcome to Excel HQ. Now, if I wanted the whole thing capitalized, I can use the upper function and select my cell inside of it and it will turn the whole thing into uppercase. And if I wanted to use the lower function, it is the exact opposite of the upper function. I will select G4 for this one and it will turn it into lowercase. And that is the len proper upper and lower functions if you found this video helpful check out some of my other videos and subscribe if you want to see anything in the future comment it down below